here's meteorologist Helen Holt with your Storm Track 3 forecast. Check out this very beautiful time lapse of Wrightsville Beach on our Stevenson Skyview Camera Network. Helen, a very pretty weekend. Absolutely, from start to finish. We saw lots of sunshine all Decent day long today. Yeah, yeah, it kind of felt like late summer today with temperatures getting back up in the lower 80s. Yeah. Like, man, October? Uh, yeah. I don't think it's fall just yet. No, I don't know what fall is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and we'll start to see more fall-like temperatures uh, as we go later into the week. In the meantime, drier weather, and that's exactly what we need. We don't need any more rain, at least at this time. Here are the current river levels right now. Black River near Curry, it's still Still forecasted to fall with the current flood stage right now at 17.43 feet. Cape Fear River over in Bladen County is now actually below flood stage. So good news. We're starting to see these river levels go down and get actually below uh, flood stage. So good news. And the Cape Fear River in downtown Wilmington, that's they're seeing the tidal flooding at the last check. It was a little bit above that flood stage. So during high tides, you're seeing uh, the flood over on Battleship. Park and Water Street, but dur during low tides, you're seeing it kind of calm down. Cape Fear River at Lock 1 is below flood stage at this time, and in the northeast Cape Fear River near Burgall, it's still forecast to fall throughout the week. So improvement is coming, but very ever so gradually. You notice there's still a lot of green colors on our uh, map here, decoding all of the flood warnings still in effect until further notice. So, of course, we're going to be monitoring things, but at least we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and some improvement is on the way. Currently in downtown Wilmington, you know, it is very nice out there at the airports clocking in at 65 degrees with a calm wind dew point around 62 degrees right now. So possibly to see some patchy fog to start off our Monday morning, but definitely we'll see lots of sunshine. That was the case throughout the weekend as an area of high pressure basically just settles in. Notice off to the west. We'll be watching a cold front move through, but that won't be until the later portion of the work week. So in the meantime, enjoy it. Really quiet night tonight, and then we'll see those quiet conditions continue into our Monday. Lots of sunshine, so if you can have lunch outside with temperatures back up into the lower 80s, pretty much a similar forecast for Tuesday. So continue, continuing that drying trend. A look at the tropics. Things are quiet as we look off the African coast, but over near the Bahamas, that's where we have an area of interest. Disturbed weather that does have a 40% chance of tropical development over the next five days, so we'll be monitoring this, and our next named storm would be named Otto. You notice Hurricane Nicole racing off away from the United States, so we'll be watching the tropics ever so closely. Low tonight will drop down into the 50s across the area. Mostly clear skies, some patchy fog and light breeze heading out to the bus stop tomorrow morning. Maybe a light jacket to start off the day 59 degrees, but look at our afternoon highs back into the 80s. It's going to feel very nice under all that sunshine. So yes, another great day is in store across southeastern North Carolina temperatures. Actually warming up a little bit more Tuesday and Wednesday into the lower 80s once again. But behind that cold front brings us our next best chance for rain Friday and to Saturday. That's the first time we're going to be seeing a chance for rain since Hurricane Matthew. And it looks at only about a 30% chance right now. So Which is a good no, thing. Yeah, not, not a washout. Any more water. Exactly, exactly. So we'll watch things. Uh -huh.